Not everyone has space for a salad garden like this. But how about one like this? This easy and cheap to make salad tower will enable you to grow so much more in the smallest of spaces and making one is super simple too. What I love about making this salad tower is that the ingredients used to make it are so cheap and widely available. For the tower itself, I'm going for this off the shelf bucket here with a lid and handle. Now this is made from food grade plastic and it's about 25 litres, that's 6.6 .6, uh, US gallons or five and a half imperial gallons. If you can get one that's a little bit taller like this, because then you'll be able to get more rows of our plants in. Now, you could also ask around restaurants, places that handle bulk foods. Often you can find these buckets for free too. Then we've got some wire netting. This will become clear what this is for in a bit and some potting mix and then of course our plants and we're going for a lovely range of lettuces here. I've got three types, freely lettuces and then this small kind of upright type here and this will give a nice range of uh, colours and textures and leaf shapes on our tower. The first thing we've got to do is mark out the positions of our planting holes in the tower. Now this uh, is tall enough to get three rows in and we'll start from the top here and we're gonna get four in each row and I'm gonna use these markers in the lid here as my guide. Each slit is gonna be about five inches or 12 centimeters wide, so let's start with that. We want to line our bottom row up with the top row and starting a couple of inches from the base here. And then the middle row is gonna go in between the slots that I've made here to get a nice even spread of holes so that plants have plenty of room to grow and don't grow into each other too much. There's the bucket all neatly marked up with our position of our planting holes. So now I'm going to cut these slits open. Uh, you could use a circular saw for that if you've got one, that would be probably the best and easiest. I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna use this plasterer's saw here instead. Now I did try it with a Stanley knife, but it wobbled around too much and was quite frankly dangerous. So I think this is the best option. So I'm just gonna saw down onto each slit till I get to the, um, full width of it. The table's a bit wobbly actually, so I'm just gonna do it on the floor, be a bit safer. It makes it a lot easier actually if you keep the lid on, it gives the whole thing structural integrity so it doesn't bend and wobble about. Now the bucket doesn't come with any drainage holes and it's important that they have some, otherwise the uh, water's gonna pool in the bottom and that might cause the roots to rot and our plants to be very unhappy indeed. Obviously, working with plastic, we don't want it blowing around into the environment, so as soon as you're finished, take the time to sweep up all the plastic shavings or even better, just maybe just do this indoors. Now we just need to open the slits out to create our planting holes. And the simplest way to do that is to heat the plastic till it's nice and warm using a hot air gun, the type used for stripping wallpaper. You could probably use a powerful hairdryer on its hottest setting as well for this. And this makes the plastic nice and loose and supple, and then we'll create the hole from that. Pretty good job, all the planting holes are done. Now I fashioned this column out of uh, wire netting into a sort of tube like this with a base and I'm gonna put this into the middle of the tower. What this will do is it'll help create a more oxygenated environment right the way down the middle for the plants right at the bottom as well and we're gonna fill it gradually with kitchen scraps and as those rot down they will help to feed our lettuces and help them to grow strong. Now to prepare the bucket for planting and I'm just using an all-purpose potting mix here and I'm gonna put some in the bottom first as a kind of cushion of potting mix like that and then put our column in closed end down like that nestle it in and then it's simply a question of filling in with our mix keeping the column nice and central and upright as we fill and as you do fill just press it down a bit to keep it nice and firm 
And here are the plants. As I've said, we've got three different types and these will be harvested one or two leaves from each plant at a time, cut and come again style. Let's get them planted. So I'm making holes with my fingers. You could use a stick as I go and planting. They, most of them fit in quite comfortably, but if they are much larger than the plug size I've got here, you'd be probably better off planting and filling with your potting mix as you go. That would make it a bit easier because you could feed the leaves in through the hole from the inside. So that's all planted around the edge. Now we're just gonna finish off with four more plants on the top, lining up with our middle row here for that pleasing symmetry. What I really, really like about a tower like this is that there's not gonna be any weeds because we've used clean potting mix. And if we keep it up here on the patio, well, it's highly unlikely to get attacked by slugs as well. And lettuces are slugs number one favorites. Your job therefore is simply limited to watering, feeding, and of course, harvesting. So let's start by giving everything a thorough soaking to get it on its way. Now the real joy of this is that we've created these lips here. Might put it on the mist setting for those. It acts like a bit of a reservoir and contains the moisture so it can actually go into it. If we were drilling holes in the side and then planting out, all of the moisture would have to come from the top and work its way down. This way we're a little bit less dependent on that. Be guided according to the weather as to how often you water. Obviously, once they're growing away, you may need to water maybe twice a week. And in really hot weather in the summer, well, you might be watering every day. But be guided by the moisture level in the potting mix. Just stick your finger in and see, feel how moist it is. And now for the feeding part. And this is where our central tube comes in handy. It's hollow at the moment, and we're going to fill it with kitchen scraps. Now, just bung it all in there feed it down if necessary. And what this will do is it will very slowly break down just like it would in a compost heap. But this time, as it rots down, it will release nutrients into the surrounding potting mix and create a lovely moist central well that the roots might well grow into. And it will keep our lettuces nicely fed. And the genius thing of this system is at the end of it, at the end of the growing season, just lift out the central tube and empty it out onto the compost heap. So now I'm just going to add my kitchen scraps to here whenever I have them and it'll keep these lettuces nice and happy. Now this probably won't get too smelly but if you're worried about that kind of thing just pop a cap on it or I'm just using a pot, neatly flits, fits even, keeps it nice and covered and stops flies and stuff getting in and then you can just remove it and fill as you go. And when you come to position your salad tower, just pop it on some pebbles or pot feet, something like that, to raise it up off the ground slightly so excess moisture can drain out from the bottom. And here's the salad tower just one week on from planting. You can see the plants have recovered a bit, they're bulking out nicely, and it won't be long before it's time to harvest them in about another week. But let me show you how we do harvest when it comes to that. Basically, you just want to click off a couple of the outer leaves from each plant at a time and you leave the central growing point to grow on because those will form our next leaves. By cutting and letting them come again like this, you can extend the period of usefulness of this tower for at least a couple of months before it's time to replace the plants inside it. As well as giving something fresh and tasty to eat, I reckon this salad tower looks simply stunning too. Now, if you like these mini projects and you'd like to do more, then do check out this playlist where you will find instructions for creating a vertical wall of veggies that looks absolutely draw-dropping, in my humble opinion. I'll catch you next time.